You know, I always love to save the best for the last. And yeah, true enough that my PC build is missing something and it's the sounds. So I got here something from our friends over from Digital Walker and it's the Audio Engine 2 Plus wireless speaker. And yes, it's a premium powered speaker system and I'm really excited to open this up. Come on, join me, let's open this one. So hi guys, it's me Richmond of Gadget Psychic and welcome back to my channel. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please click that uh, subscribe button and of course, don't forget to click that bell icon as well. So this is the Audio Engine 2 Plus wireless premium powered speaker system. And yes, I know this is something not your typical speaker. And this one I know can play both uh, analog and digital music. And I'm really uh, honored to be one of those who gets to unbox this one. And I'm really a fan of good music. And speaking of good music, of course, uh, I'll be pairing this one with my gaming PC build, which of course I need some good sounds uh, for watching videos, Netflix, and of course, playing some games. Of course, I'll be using it a lot for my video editing. So out of the box, I got some of these goodies. Uh, probably this is the charging brick. And yes, it is the charging brick. And this one, I guess, is probably the charge uh, the cables. Let's check. And it's the power cord, as well as probably some uh, audio cables. Yes, it is some audio cables. And taking the styro out of the box, we have two speakers here. So. We'll be opening it one by one. So probably I have here is the left speaker. And boy, oh boy, it's really uh, feeling so premium. Uh, yes, I can see, I can really see that this one is uh, really for the left one. Okay, so we'll be checking the right one as well. So I like the black of this one and uh yeah so feels so smooth and uh, this one has some grip uh so it won't skid on your table especially when it's smooth okay so uh let's take this one out and of course put the box on the side so we can get a better view of this speaker so right now we'll be unboxing the right one let's see Oh my gosh, look at all this port. So I'm pretty sure that most of you millennials won't be able to distinguish what ports are this one. So this one are mainly used for analog music, especially when you're uh, back in the 90s, in the early 2000s, this one are pretty popular. Uh, yeah, it's something that many kids wouldn't know these days. So let's, Take a quick look at the manual that's included in this one. So this one is probably a catalog or something. Yep. It is a catalog. Okay, teaching you probably uh, the different types of speaker from Audio Engine. Okay, so you have something like Audio Engine 2, Audio Engine 5 Plus, Audio Engine B2, Audio Engine B1. Audio Engine D3 and Audio Engine D1. So these are the other types of uh, speakers produced by Audio Engine. So yeah, putting it on the side. Let's take a quick tour uh, on the speaker. So let's try to identify the ports that are at the back. And so here it is, the diagram that I've been looking for. So, yep. So these are the audio input. The other one is uh, the output is for subwoofer. This is a uh, 3.5 mm audio jack. This is your volume knob. Okay. So uh, this one is your Bluetooth icon. When you press it to pair it uh, via uh, APTX, okay, Bluetooth 5.0, 
USB input and I'm still wondering why it's a micro USB input. So this one is going out to the right, okay? Uh, going, to the, going to the other speaker, this one is power cord. So that's the setup at the back of our speaker. So right now we'll be trying to mount it uh, to our desktop and see how well it sounds. So we'll be trying it out on some non-copyrighted music and let's see uh, how well it goes together with my PC build. So let's try. So right now guys, I'll be connecting this power source to our power brick. Then of course, uh, this one will be heading to the back of my speaker, this cord. So let's just untie it. There you go. So this is our volume knob. So right now I'll be teaching you how to do it uh, using the Bluetooth connection. So I'm not really a fan of too much wires, but of course, uh, m most uh, gaming people would really disagree with me going on a Bluetooth connection. But uh, for this video purpose, I'll be trying to do it on the Bluetooth connection to make it a lot simpler. So yeah, plugging it to power source. So right now we'll be turning this knob on. Okay, so it has been on the maximum. So you can see that it's on pairing mode. It's blinking, right? So right now let's hover our mouse over to the Bluetooth icon, double click the Bluetooth icon. Uh, yeah, let's try to search for some uh, wireless device. Just click Bluetooth and we can find Audio Engine 2 Plus. So let's just simply click connect. So right now it's connecting and your device is ready to go. So we're done connecting. So our uh, audio output is from Audio Engine 2 Plus. And right now uh, I can tell you that this one is connected and yeah, it's not blinking anymore. So we won't be putting our volume to the maximum. We might probably break our eardrums. So let's try to play some quick music here and let's see how good this sounds would be. But of course, before all that, I believe that I should be connecting uh, the left to the right using these cords. Okay, so that's why it's here. So yeah, let's see how can we connect this. So So right now we'll be connecting these two wires at the back. So we just probably uh, bend it a little bit. Okay, so put it at the back, then uh, try to tighten it a little bit. Then also to the other one, just make sure that uh, the red will go to the red on the other side and the black would go to the black on the other side. Can't go wrong, okay. So, Okay, so this is to give contact between the two speakers. So I'll be doing it uh, the same as well. So make sure that the silver one goes to the red. That's of course based on my connection. Uh, this one, let's see. There you go. And the other one. Bend it a little bit. And there we go. So it's uh, properly uh, fitted already at the back. So right now let's try to play our first music here. Uh, using these speakers. Okay, right now we'll be uh, checking ourselves for some uh, extreme non-copyrighted bass boosted songs. So let's enjoy the music.
we can see the speakers is shaking okay so you can hear the bass uh, if you're here in my studio you can really feel the shaking of the bass really really loud you start hearing the sound So we are testing the treble right now. Thank you for using Jimaresin Sound Test. Okay, what's my verdict of this uh, Audio Engine A2 Plus? And I can say these speakers are really good. So I start hearing sounds uh, based on the treble test that we uh, use. It uh, started at around 14,000 hertz, which is, of course, uh, pretty much a good score uh, for people who love music. And definitely this one is uh yeah one of the more premium speakers that i've tested here in my studio and of course uh i can say that the sound is very crisp and very smooth to the ears and it of course makes listening to music very enjoyable and i've already tested this for a couple of days and yes uh playing music by spotify is really enjoyable with these two speakers here on my desk Guys, I highly recommend these speakers, the Audio Engine A2 Plus. If you're setting up your home theater system at home, if you want it compact, if you want it wireless, it's of course uh, pretty much uh, doable with these speakers. And of course, if you want to play games with a high definition sounds, you can also consider this as your main speakers for gaming. So of course, if you want these speakers, you can always grab it here from Digital Walker, be it online and offline. So if you want the links, I'll be posting it in the description box below. Check it out. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, click that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos here from my channel. And I hope to see you on the next one.